Good morning, and it's a very cold and frosty one today. <laughs> Just looking out of my back door here, I can see frost all over the roofs. Let's shut that to keep the heat in. Oh, imagine if I lock myself out now. Oh, don't come out here much in the winter because it's all cold. But I did come out and I had a little look to see if there's anything I could film and show you. I did find some ice. <laughs> oh my goodness, frozen completely solid that one that's water I had left out for the birds in the summer and forgotten about about that is that frozen yep completely birds could do with a bit of a fade couldn't they especially in this weather I'll top that up for them oh it's getting in quick oh my goodness my fleecy fluffy pajamas oh it feels like a warmth waft now coming in <laughs> right no idea if this is in shot but I've got a very cold tripod leg down the front of my bra <laughs> Oh no, it's getting out of control. That'll do. Oh my gosh, let's get back in quick. <sighs> it's a funny sort of a Saturday actually, apart from it being sub-arctic temperatures, I haven't got a gig this evening. I'm going to be going out with my gal pal later because the other one's going Christmas shopping, so I'm going to have a couple of hours out with her, which I won't film. Oh, and another reason this Saturday's a little unusual is Izzy is not even here at all. She's not coming back till tomorrow evening for her injection and then she's off again. And also, my boyfriend is away as well. He's gone off playing music this weekend and I didn't fancy going because it was an awful lot of driving for one night and then back again first thing in the morning. So I was like, mm, that's okay. I might uh, give that a miss. I found some time to do my puzzle late last night and look, it's really coming together. I bet you thought it was finished then, didn't you? No, alas, no. We've got the sky and things to do, which might take a couple of evenings, I think. But anyway, it's a nice one. I'm keen to get it done because I suspect I've got some Christmas ones to do. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Hmm, maybe not. I've done those. What are they doing here? And I've done that one. What are they doing on this pile? I might buy myself a Christmas puzzle, you know. It's cheaper than a night out down the pub, if you think of it that way. Anyway, I'm going to be very predictable now. I am such a creature of habit. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I'm going to do some language learning, and then I'm going to work on the vlog, and I'll speak to you later. Coming up to 10.40. I'm ready for my second coffee. I was just thinking I'll put a wash on now while that's just heating up, because why not? Let's get that on the go. Mmm, and this thing's going to run. Ah, oh, they'll be all right. They're old. There's nothing new in there. Is that warming up now? Mm, yeah, I've got to make sure not to get it too hot, otherwise it makes it taste a bit um, bitter, really. Right, sorry. <laughs> just clipping you casually onto a tripod from the next shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all scrunched up. We can't have that, can we? Socks coming in. Here's that lovely dress that I wore to my gig last week. The last of the powder going in. I just put the powder in this plastic box that had had capsules in. I'm afraid I've been a baby and gone back to the capsules again. It's coffee time and make a thumbnail and upload my video time. I've just been enjoying my breakfast and something has come through the door. We've got mail. Oh, it sounded like it was going to be like presents, but it's a certificate again by the look of it. How odd. Annoyingly, one of them's a card from Amazon saying you weren't in so we couldn't deliver your parcel. I was in. How annoying. <laughs> I have to go and get that. I have to pop out anyway as it happens. I need to go and pick up my prescription, which I ordered from IBs by the telephone, but it's here now. So I need to go and get that before it shuts for half day because it's a Saturday and I think it shuts at lunchtime. And I am going to buy myself a 1,000 piece Christmas jigsaw puzzle as a treat just for me. And this is presents. There's two presents in there. I sent off them weeks and weeks ago, but because of the postal strikes and various holdups, they've only come now. Still in good time for Christmas though, so we'll wrap those up later. Right, I'm going to go and knock next door. Now he He's not in. I'm gonna pop out to the chemist. The reason I pull my trouser leg up is sometimes I haven't quite got them over these bits and I don't notice until I about 60 seconds walk away from my house. And then I notice because they just kind of come off and they go all loose and floppy. One of the reasons I do like to wear flared trousers is you can just get it up and down really easily. It's like, it's not all tight and constricting. Right, let's go. I'm out. Look at these lovely coloured leaves. I nearly went skidding then. Look, completely frozen that is. Well, I probably shouldn't touch it because it's coming off a lamppost. Hopefully it's not frozen dogweed. It's, it doesn't look yellow. It's probably fine. I've got my prescription and look, I've been lured back to the puzzle section of the works. I've decided I'm going to get some for Izzy's three friends that I'm going to see today as well. I'll get them a 500 piece each. I'm going to get myself this one, Christmas Market, £7. I've got my puzzles. I'm walking home. I only brought one bag. I was only meaning to buy one as I left the house. I've stopped just to take a little look at this. It just looks amazing, like the pattern with the brown and the green and all the little frost.
It's a beautiful day by the way, look at that lovely blue sky. Awfully chilly though, let's get back home. I'm back, these are the puzzles I bought the girls, I wanted to get them Christmassy ones and they only had two designs of Christmas ones in the 500 pieces, so um, yeah, a bit of doubling up there, but there are three girls. I'm gonna go make that thumbnail now, I still haven't done it, it's half 12 now. <laughs> that metronome. <laughs> basically not left myself enough time to cook and eat lunch before leaving. I need to be out in 15 minutes. So this is what I was thinking while I was playing the last of my scales because I wanted to do my full hour on my flute today. I thought I know I'll have potato cakes because they just do quickly in the toaster. A tin of tomato because that's basically already cooked and only needs reheating and some of those chickpeas that are in the jar in the fridge because they basically just need reheating and of course I've added some basil and I'm gonna chuck some mozzarella slices on it ripped up as well and hopefully be able to eat it very fast because I don't want to leave my friend waiting on her own in the cafe because there's only one of us adults going today no two of us adults it's normally three there's my potato cakes there that'll do can I eat it fast enough that's the question <laughs> I'm back time to get that heating back on I'm all cold no tying that washing out actually. You know how I went out with three puzzles? I've come back with three puzzles. One of my daughter's friends brought for me some puzzles that she's finished with because we were doing a bit of puzzle swapping at one time. This is the first of them called By the Sea, a thousand pieces, excited for that one. Then we have this 500 piece called Through the Window, it's got a little piano in it. Yep, looking forward to that one too. Now this one, not looking forward to, sorry Cassie. <laughs> She's done it twice, apparently. Here is a picture of it, including the shapes of the pieces. Now she says, Cassie says, that is an excellent guide. And she said they really are exactly what the shapes of the pieces are. So that's your guide, apparently. So, oh my goodness, that's going to be a challenge. I'm scared of that one. Do you know what I'm going to do now, though? Settle myself down and do some Portuguese homework. I have not really been very good at getting my Portuguese homework done in advance of the lesson. <laughs> I think when I signed myself up, I just thought somehow in my head, Fantasy Imogen would have more time for completing homework and study and somehow or another. I was just gonna find time in my day because it would force me to find time in my day. The reality is, I'm getting to like the day before and trying to cram it all in in one go. What would be much better is if I spread it out evenly throughout the week, it would be so much better because it gives me processing time in between every instalment and I know that's better and that's how I work best, but no. Uh, I need to pick up my game, I do. Any minute now, I'm doing my Portuguese homework, honest. Gets distracted with housework. Here's my gigging cardi, my one tidy cardigan. Yeti jumper. This is a bit of a slippery customer, this one. gonna start by writing my notes up from last week did not make many because mostly we were doing practical activities last week not much writing or writing in the textbook and once I've done that then I shall set about working out what homework I've got to do I am completely infantile when it comes to writing up my notes I like to make more colorful and I quite like decorating them with colored tape you know to demarcate is that a word for different sections or different names don't know what that electrical tapes doing in there that is not pretty no pretty tape on last week's though because I did them at IB's Something I'm really stuck on with Portuguese and I just don't know how to get through it because basically, well basically I need to spend hours sorting it out, learning it by rote probably, but I never find the hours to do it. Here and there, that sounds simple, it is in English, there are different there's in Portuguese depending on proximity to the speaker, the listener and away from both of you. And uh, then we got a bit of a knock on from that because we got that and this, there's different that's and this is as well for all different situations. It's another layer of complexity in Portuguese. And can my poor head get around it? No, because I'm just not spending enough time on it basically. Otherwise I would work out a strategy and, and just memorise it. And I'm just not, and every week I'm confused by it. But anyway, I've only got myself to blame. I'm gonna write my notes up and, and try and be a good girl and spend a bit more time on it. <laughs> 
it's 7 p.m. now. I haven't half made a meal of this tiny bit of notes that I've been taking up. I haven't even started on the homework yet. I started writing up my notes, went down a bit of a rabbit hole of learning. One of the concepts is just something I've been trying to internalize for years and years and years. And I'm thinking, right, let's just slow this right down, go at emo pace <laughs> instead of class pace. And uh, yeah, I've been doing that. And I've been redoing one of the exercises that we did in class as well, but much, much slower and using my verb book to look stuff up and trying to work out which verb are irregular and which are not irregular and trying to make a start memorizing which ones follow the normal rules which ones are exceptions because I haven't really gone into that amount of depth really much apart from the really obvious ones I was also on the phone to Isabel she was texting me so I decided she was probably available for a chat so I gave her a phone call and we talked for quite a long time as well so I'd spend time doing that but I need to make my dinner now I'm gonna have a little tidy up and carry on with that tomorrow oh excuse the mess over there Time to sacrifice the one red chilli on the chilli plant, hopefully without killing the bush in the process. There's a very fragrant waft coming out of that pan. All my usual things, chilli, garlic and ginger, all fresh. There's some whole coriander seeds in there. Too many because my hands slipped when I was pouring them in, but never mind. And some whole cumin seeds as well. Gonna chop some of this up and chuck it in now. Maybe not the tomatoes actually, don't feel like tomatoes. I've added a bit of soy sauce, lemon juice and an oxo cube. And I'm gonna turn it down low and just leave it to simmer for a bit. Oh, that's already down low. I've got a little bit more work to do on tomorrow's vlog and then I'll come back and see how it's doing. You know, I was just thinking, I'll make a cup of tea before I go up. And then I was just thinking, I haven't had my biotin today. Got a new thing out of the cupboards. And look, I've opened a brand new thing. Just opened the seal. That's how many's in there. What is even going on? Why? Why do we need so much packaging for that? A tiny, tiny little bottle would be perfectly adequate. Some time later and there's my Din Din's. I've just tasted it and it's actually not that tasty and I'm surprised about that because I put loads of seasoning in it so I just put a bit more soy sauce in. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Could you please give it a like if you liked it? Subscribe down below if you'd like to watch more videos from me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!